My name's Matthew Kerbis. I'm the subscription attorney. And I, I have Devin with me here today, who is with Nifty. And he's going to talk about NiftyCon. I'm thrilled to announce to the public, because I haven't announced this yet, that I'm one of the speakers at NiftyCon this year. So before we get even get into what is NiftyCon, Devin, say hello. Tell my audience who you are. Hey, nice to meet everybody. Thanks for having me on, Matthew. This is awesome. Uh, yeah, we're excited to come and talk a little bit about our legal marketing conference that we have every year. We can get into that here in a bit. But to just introduce myself, my name is Devin Harper. I've been at Nifty Marketing for just over 10 years now. I came up through, you know, account management and search engine optimization. That's kind of the bulk of my background in this profession. And today I am a director of product management. And so what that means, I work with the sales team and service teams to just ensure that new clients, when they onboard with Nifty, that everything goes smoothly according to statement of work and plan and, and that their expectations are met with a premium level of product and service that we offer them, you know, with our deliverables and the results and everything in between. So that's kind of a gist of what I do. And, and also just as an agency, you know, this is an, ev an evolving space that we work in. It's very unpredictable and ever changing. And so, you know, we're always testing new tactics, new products, new ways of doing things to try and keep our clients at the cutting edge of what's working with the algorithms and in, in you know, legal advertising on the different channels. So that's that's kind of where I fit into Nifty in the grand scheme of things. And, and I'm also, you know, tasked with helping get this conference going and the marketing and everything. And of course, that's that's what brings me here today. So thanks for bringing me on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm happy to learn that because I, I still learn about Nifty marketing, that you're not just stuck in your ways as so many lawyers are and so many longtime <laughs> service providers, two lawyers are just like, no, this is the way we do it. This is we know what works. Well, AI has thrown a wrench into things. It's thrown a wrench Absolutely. into... Yeah. Throw a wrench into the billable hour. It's thrown a wrench into the way lawyers do do work, but it's also thrown a wrench into the way the algorithms work and search and, and and all of that, right? And so what the search generative experience thing, that's still kind of Google still like testing out, right? Exactly. Yeah. So so it's great to hear that you're 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 adapting and you're not just stuck with with the way that you think things have worked in the past. Cause oh boy, that is just not that's just not gonna fly anymore. So, so true. So you know, like I have a smart audience, mostly lawyers, right? Or entrepreneurs, legal technologists, but decon, short for conference. Tell tell just a little bit of a history about the conference and like what like what is the goal like like if, if like what sort of what's the right lawyer or law firm that would benefit from going to NiftyCon? Yeah, so for the last few years, we've had the conference in Park City. That's kind of a big travel destination. You've probably heard about, you know, there were the, was it the 2020 or 20, 2004 Summer Olympic or Winter Olympics were held in Park City. So that's, I don't even know if I have the date right. Th this was not rehearsed. So the Olympic, Olympics, some, yeah, some past Olympics was there. Put Park City on the map and that's, that's where we've held the conference. It's been swanky and nice and, you know, it's really pretty there. We've had it at nice resort hotels. This year, we want to change things up a little bit and bring it to the heart of downtown Salt Lake City. And it's going to be at the Grand America Hotel. Lots to do within walking distance. And really, the, the whole goal of NiftyCon is bringing attorneys, only attorneys, practicing attorneys from every corner of the country. We limit attendance to you know 60 to 80 attendees. We want to keep it smaller. We don't want people to just come and feel like they have to you know sit down and listen to people talk to them for two or three days straight. We want it to be an interactive experience engaging. We want attendees to come and put pen on paper and really troubleshoot their unique challenges, problems, you know, their five-year goal for their practice that's unique to them with the experts sitting across the table with them. And that's, you know, experts like you, Matthew, and, and others that we can talk about. We have a really exciting agenda for this year. We're going to be talking about topics that are pertinent for every attorney and entrepreneur that, that is passionate about their firm, their brand, and that wants to grow. And so that's, if that's you and you're an attorney that's growth minded, both in both in your personal life and in your business life, this conference is for you. You know, we're going to be talking about legal tech, practice management, legal marketing, advertising, and we're going to touch on all the different channels, organic, PPC. There's lots of different advertising channels now that didn't even exist, you know, five to 10 years ago. So, you know, even if it's just a refresher to see what's possible and what opportunities you might not be taking advantage of right now, you're going to learn a lot from this conference and, and the real goal goal is to just create a value exchange for our attendees. We're not going to be selling anything on stage. We haven't sold the stage to anyone for one. That's that's kind of a big difference with our conference and other legal marketing conferences that you've probably gone to is 
not, we're not paying the speakers. We're not selling out the stage. Nobody's going to pitch anything on the stage. It's, there's no vendors. There's no sponsors. It, it's really just getting people together and exchanging value. And we're not the only ones exchanging value or the speakers or, or presenters. You know, we have prolific lawyers from all over the country that are going to come and be able to speak to, to their successes, ways that they've overcome obstacles along their journey of growth and impart that wisdom and that experience to other attendees, you know, whether it's at breakfast or on break or at lunch or after the sessions are over and, and you're downtown at a bar or at town. So that's just kind of a nutshell version of the conference. And yeah, I'd love to talk more about it. Yeah. So so for those who are wondering, okay, well, when is this conference happening? Well, it's happening September 18th to 20th. And the website to go to, which I will post in the comments and in the show notes, if you're listening to this as a podcast, is niftycon.com. And if you wanted to check out some highlights from last year, you could do slash 2023. Uh, so that's the website. And one of the reasons why we're even having this conversation on April 30th is because there's early bird tickets and those tickets are the, the ticket price will go up. So you have until June 5th of 2024 to get that early bird pricing. And if you stick around to the end of the, the interview, if you're live or the episode, if you're listening as a cast, I will have a code for you that you can get 50% off your ticket. And I can confirm I am not being paid or and I'm not paying to show up and speak at this event. I just love to, like everybody knows, longtime listeners of the podcast know. I want to improve the profession and move help move lawyers away from the billable hours. So I'm thrilled to say that I will be speaking about using AI, how to use it intelligently, because I can't help myself with a silly little dad joke about using artificial intelligence intelligently. And one of those aspects is being able to leverage AI to the fullest means the business model that you're using has to change from the billable hour. And I really look forward to the, a, a focus on marketing for lawyers, because I'll tell you, I could like having a, an innovative business model. I'm talking to a lot of lawyers that do. When you have a subscription business model, I mean, that is not something that's been marketed really before. And there's not a lot of data to to, to look at to see, you know, what are things that work and what doesn't work. Because a lot of us, too, are, are smaller law firms. I mean, I have started to talk to some larger, small, still small firms, but multiple attorney firms that are leveraging the model and some bigger firms that are at least interested in talking about it. And so I really look forward to the discussions with the other thought leaders there and all the attendees about, you know, some strategies for how, how do you market this new innovative practice in particular, if like me, you're leveraging AI and things are not taking as much time as they used to. So moving a little bit back is I want to know why even have a marketing conference for lawyers? Like you said, how it's, you're keeping it tight, which is great. I might leave meeting all 80 people who are there because that's a small, like I've been to a lot of conferences, legal conferences over the last 10 plus years. And that's great having like a tight, like almost mastermind like type, exactly. type conference. Right. And, and so, but why marketing? Because, you know, you hear about, you know, every, you know, People know about like their particular legal tech products that have conferences. You've got ABA conferences, bar association conferences. But why? Why did you see that there was a need to have a marketing conference? Yeah, I think we touched on it a little bit earlier. But like you know, just with legal tech and marketing and ways to get your name out there. There are so many more possibilities now and ways of doing that and and ways of doing that in-house even too. I mean, the the tools that the average lawyer can use. I mean, you don't need to hire a, a web designer or developer to get started with a website now. I mean, you can instruct basically do it for you or like there's online tools and software that you can plunk in basic data and it'll spit out a fully functioning website for you. And so the barrier of entry to get into the marketing space is lower now but the ceiling is also a lot higher and the possibilities of what you can do vary so much in between. You know, we've we've worked with attorneys who have abandoned SEO and PPC in favor of strictly doing YouTube ads and video content. And they, you know, since making that strategic shift in their marketing and advertising, they attract better quality clients and more qual and more quantity clients than they ever did doing the traditional, you know, search you know, SEO and PPC channels. And so that's just like, there is no one right way to do it. it. It just comes down to where you're at on your journey, where you're at in your, in your brand development, in your assets, what your five-year goal is really. And we try and give you the information, the tools and knowledge and the resources to make that happen. And one thing I always like to say in, in regard to lawyers and their marketing and why they should care is that every lawyer and every law practice has a story. Story. And I just think that most attorneys haven't either discovered that story or, or brought that story to life 
in the form of photography, design, videography, or even regular word content. And once you tap into that story and of who you are and how you got to where you are today, and you're able to tell that story to people who come and get to know you online or, you know, whether they, whether they find you through an ad or on a social media site or profile, the bar association or just wherever, however they come across your information, they come land and see that story and, and it changes how they perceive you. You know, it's funny looking back over the years, lawyers kind of have this this reputation, right, of, of like, I don't, I don't even want to go there. But, you know, part of what we talk about at Nifty is is making law sexy and we kind of started talking about that in like 25th is when we kind of shifted out of taking any local business and, and running their marketing to investing a lot more in the legal space we saw so many just cliche and tacky legal ads and websites that you know were still stuck in the 90s and and then some of the firms were like very established you know, had plenty of size and resources to have something nice, you know, they that was complementary to who they really were, their identity. But, it, you know, they were falling short on that. And, and so we wanted to both leverage that make law sexy for our own advertising and marketing, but also in a way of like attracting the right clients that we wanted to work with. We want we want to work with lawyers who want to be creative and who want to break out of that kind of traditional mold, old school marketing and advertising methods and do something new. And, and part of that journey is, is helping them discover their brand and really the brand identity and development and growth. And then we get into the tactics and strategies to develop that brand and get it out there. And the storytelling of that piece is, is really kind of the missing ingredient that makes it all possible. It's what drives the web design. It's what drives the ads and the ad copy and the messaging and, and all of that. It's all driven by who you are as an attorney and your story story. And we love telling that story, bringing those stories to life and putting them out there, whether that's on a website or on a face page or in an ad on Google. So, you know, those stories resonate well with users. It gives them a way to pick up on the human element of you as an attorney. You're not just a, a lawyer in a stuffy suit, but you have a family, you have, you know, a passion behind what you do. You really believe in the cases that you take on and, and the outcomes and uh, make, you know, if you're a personal injury lawyer, maybe making the community a safer place through policy changes or, or the outcomes of your case and sharing those and kind of making an example of what you're capable of doing in your community. So we love to take all that and wrap it up and present it in a way that creates a kind of an emotional connection with your users. It helps set you apart from the competition. And it really comes back and helps increase your bottom line, honestly, because you become a clear choice to work with in a landscape that's becoming super competitive and super expensive and hard to stand out. So, you, you know, that that tagline, make law sexy, is I think it's a fantastic one. And it's also going to turn away the lawyers who like, if that does not resonate with them. Yeah, there we go. T-shirts. We, we make sure and everything we give those out at conferences they're always a big hit so yeah. yeah yeah i mean like if, if you're a stuffy law firm and you're close-minded like this is not the conference for you i mean ultimately right like if make law sexy turns you off to keep with the motif then then you know then this is not the conference for you but i feel like the innovative lawyers that listen to my podcast like this is the kind of thing for them right and and you know you know i think we should right like law people are are, are scared of lawyers they're scared that they're going to be expensive they're scared that maybe they know some sort of secret information. But when you make law sexy, that fear starts to go away. Yeah, yeah. So just, I know you've got the highlight reels, but just in case people don't go look at the webpage for 2023, like give us some some takeaways, some some good things that, you know, people learned, attendees learned at the 3 Nifty Con. Yeah, so the 2023 one was really memorable. We had a really prolific personal injury lawyer from Atlanta, Jennifer Gore Cuthbert. I think she goes by Jen Gore most commonly, but she's a social media like mogul. She's built a huge social media following and she came and told her story of how she got to where she's at today, which is, it's an incredible story. And it all started with her building the right legal team and surrounding herself and empowering herself with the right team members and incentivizing them the way that she did, structuring things the way that she 
did, attracting them the way that she did. She really went into detail. I can't remember all the details of her talk, but I remember just that, that was one that stood out to me a lot. And I know generated a lot of buzz at the conference last year because ultimately she wanted to be the face of her brand and elevate it. And she, she knew that that's like what interested her the most and what brought her the most like purpose and fuel as a person. And so that's where she wanted to spend a lot of her time was, you know, engaging with the community on social media. And she's a great content creator. If you don't know who she is or haven't followed her, she's a great one to, you know, keep tabs on and just see what she's up to lately and the way that she communicates. It's not, it's not crazy glamorous. And like a lot of times she'll just pull up her phone and talk to you like a regular person and, and throw a video up like, like that. But she tells the story of how she positioned herself to do what brought her the most purpose and meaning in her, in her career. And that is being the face of her brand. And she's been extremely good at it. And I, I can't remember the numbers from her presentation last year, but I believe her firm gets a lot more cases from her social media channels than she does from any of her other marketing or advertising. So don't quote me on that, but that that seems to ring true if, I, if memory serves. Yeah, look, um, I, I know a lawyer that that she gets most of her, like not most, but the highest like ratio of mm -hmm. new clients from TikTok videos. And and back when yeah. I was a new law firm owner and I was playing around with pay-per-click because they Google throws some money at you so you could try it out. Yeah, you know, I found that most of the ads that were getting clicked were in YouTube. So like people are are looking for videos on these things and and so like video the power of video like you were talking about earlier cannot be underestimated and social media gives us a great platform to do it and and i've even and got like a engine. yeah yeah and i mean I've, I've got a new thing that i've been working on called the law for kids podcast just putting out good educational content for kids awesome. right yeah and and so you know like it's a long play because i'm not like directly saying it's an advertisement for my firm because it's not it's just educational content i'm just trying to build goodwill and put, do something good for you know for kids out there they want to learn about the law. Frankly, if somebody, anybody, whether a kid or not, searched what what is causation and they wanted to know like what is like legal causation, like they might see that one minute video and now that adult learned what like the legal perspective on causation actually means, right? Where before, like maybe yeah, you might want to read some stuffy, you know, blog article on a web and look a thousand words long to define causation. Right, right. Like how about how about 50 seconds? Because when you think mm. about the intro and outro, like you only have 50 seconds to talk about it. But but also like I'm I'm only licensed in Illinois, I'm a solo practitioner, right? So like, sure, mm -hmm. I could do some version of that. And I probably should. That's more closely tied and directly related to my law firm, right? But this is a good way to do something that's low risk. It's video related. It keeps me on a consistent schedule. I get to work with my kid because she's doing some voiceover for it. So like I get to, to yeah, hang out with my kid and call it work. And so it's a good way for I'm kind of experimenting in that space. And then maybe I might do some more video stuff directly related to the firm. But let's talk about, you mentioned the, the agenda and right Right now, like we're early, like things could change between now and September, but you have a full agenda already. Um days, you know, primarily two days. So they fly in on the 18th and then there's some networking reception that night, but then the, the programming is the next two days. And yeah. it's, a, it's a packed program. So like talk about, so there's some talks in the morning and then yeah. there's like a panel topic. So talk about like that a little bit and maybe some of the the, to the, the topics that will be covered. Sure. So like you mentioned, flying in, we're just going to keep a casual open night reception, let people get settled in, explore the town a little bit. And then we're going to hit it hard the next morning. You know, we're going to kick things off with our keynote Kelly Cardenas, and he's a national best author and host of a really popular podcast called The Vibe. And he is like the vibe authority in the country. His whole thing is helping entrepreneurs, including attorneys. He has a brother that's an attorney in Las Vegas in the personal injury space. So he, he knows the legal industry and can speak the language. And so lawyer entrepreneurs, his whole thing is to help them build their brands and businesses by tapping into to their vibe and and there's a whole workshop that we're gonna you know go into that helps people identify their brand their voice it just what makes them tick and so day one is all about brand identity and development because before you put marketing dollars to you know any ad initiatives and things like that you got to understand like who you are and what you're wanting to accomplish and, and how you want to go about doing it finally and so day one is all about that we're gonna also hear from Ben Glass who's gonna talk about living life big. And if you don't know who Ben Glass is, he's an awesome, awesome guy. He really doesn't need any introduction. He's been
been in the legal arena for, for so long. I don't know, maybe 40 years under his belt and anything legal related, he's pretty much an expert on. So he's awesome. We're so excited to have Ben Glass be able to come and talk about just the personal development. And, and again, it's kind of that before you build a business, you need to first build yourself and, and develop yourself so that then you can infuse all that into your business. And that that's a super effective way to go about it. We're going to get into practice management on day one as well from the grandfather of legal marketing or legal advertising, Harlan Schillinger. And he is an intake expert as well. So he'll have a lot of good advice and things to think about. And, you know, he'll cause you to stop and ask yourself a lot of questions about your intake processes and your team. And so that in and of itself is going to be super valuable. He also brings a ton of years of experience with him. Like if you go to his website and learn a bit more about him, you'll be excited. We'll have, let's see, some social media. Got to have social media. media. You got to have some of that at a, at a marketing conference for lawyers. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of the forgotten child of every firm's marketing plan. Like they know they need to do it. They know they know they need to take it more seriously, but they just kind of keep kicking it down the road. And so, yeah, that's going to be a really great topic to have on day one. And then we're going to have, like you mentioned, panels on brand development and yeah, defining your vibe. And that's going to be moderated by Kelly. So a little bit different format. We try and keep things flowing and engaging and changing a little bit so that, you know, you're not just stuck in a seat the whole entire day. Again, we're going to, we're going to try and work in a, this is still in the works, but like a one hour long workshop at the end of the first day where you can like, you know, go through some exercises that will help you tap into, you know, what your vibe is. And, and that's going to be really insightful and shed light on the branding of your practice. Yeah. And then day two is all about tactics and strategy. So now what, you know, say you've, you've gone through these exercises and starting to put the pieces together of your brand or you're rethinking your brand. You're looking at, you know, your five-year plan down the road, thinking of where you want to be, how that might look differently than where you're at today. And what is it going to take to get there? And like I said earlier, there's no one size all one size fits all approach that we're going to talk about. We're basically going to let you know what is possible and maybe advise you and give you some tips and share some stories along the way and then let you decide. And so day two, we're going to be getting into, let's see, we're, that's, that's when we give our, like our annual state of legal marketing address. It's, an, it's like a 45 minute long, really robust presentation on the state of legal marketing. And that's where we get into industry changes with advertising. You know, what are the new opportunities on the table? Google just rolled out local services ads or Google local ads or the, the lo they have the little Google guaranteed moniker on them just a couple of years ago. And that's been a game changer for a lot of attorneys. You know, so many attorneys stopped doing pay-per-click and, and went all, all in on the paper lead platform of you know, local services ads, so many benefits there, but you know, that didn't even exist three years ago. So we're going to be talking about evolutions with that platform specifically, because it is itself changing all the time. We're learning new things, learning new ways to, you know, increase your visibility if you're already running those ads. And we're going to hand it all over to you. It, it, it's really like, I don't know if you watch The Bachelor, okay? Like my wife watches it, so I speak that language a little bit, but like NiftyCon is gonna be like the tell-all edition of The Bachelor. You know, we're gonna we're gonna pull back the curtain and basically let you have an inside look of how the sausage gets made in this industry. We're gonna tell you what's worth investing in, what trends are emerging, what trends are fading, where lawyers waste the most money. And we're gonna tell you also what you can do to do all this yourself if you want to. That's a big lift for any attorney to do, but you know, if you wanna build your own internal team to manage your marketing, we'll show you how it's done, no problem. And you know, when you go back home and implement all of this at your practice, you know, whether it's with us or without us, doesn't matter. This is, this is all about exchanging value. And we're part of that conversation you know, you, Matthew, you're going to be part of that conversation and our other industry experts and, and fellow like-minded attorneys are going to be contributing to that discussion as well. You mentioned last year and another one that stuck out to me that I, you don't get this at any legal marketing conferences, but you'll get it at NiftyCon. Last year, we had a, a personal injury couple from Vegas that 
they're married and they run their own personal injury practice in Vegas. Pretty well known. They came and spoke and they they kind of did what I described earlier of like opening the curtains into their firm and they they talked numbers, they talked commission structure for their attorneys, they talked about their intake, they they talked about their entire journey of how they got into the space and and all the crucial decisions that they made that helped get them to where they're at today. It was a real inside look at the success of their firm behind the scenes and that generated a lot of, you know, conversation among the attendees. And that was super valuable. So if that's of interest to you, that's the type of content that you might expect at NiftyCon this year as well. We're going to be having Tim Semmelroth. He's an Iowa personal injury lawyer. And this isn't all, I, I know I, I reference personal injury a lot, but you know, we have criminal lawyers, family law that are coming as well, confirmed people that are attending. So, but Tim, he's going to be speaking about online courses and what he's been able to achieve, setting those up on his website and how that's been a value to his firm. So yeah, just a wide variety of, of legal tech, practice management, legal marketing, and, and all that. So it's going to be exciting. Well, Devin Harper, thanks so much for coming on Law Subscribed Live. If all of that interests anybody, niftycon.niftymarketing.com. Again, I'll put the link in the in the chat here, and I'm also going to put the link in the show notes. Tickets are live. So you, that's the link you want to go to. You click on Save My Seat Now, and that's where you could you could purchase tickets. The promo code, which you could you could enter there if you want to save 50% off, it's my full name, all caps, Matthew Kerbis, right? One so, you know, so make sure you spell Matthew with one T, and they T-H-E-W-K-E-R-B-I-S, Matthew Kerbis, all caps, together, no space, one word, and you'll save 50% off. That's your discount code. And any other, so if, so if anybody wanted to reach out to you, Devin, they, they have the website for where to buy tickets, but if they want to reach out to you, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, send an email to hello at niftymarketing.com and yeah, we'll we'll be sure to watch that closely. And then also, I forgot to mention, this is kind of big, but we're doing a giveaway, two free tickets and two free nights at the Grand America Hotel in Salt Lake City. And the winner will be announced on social media on or around June 4th. So early bird pricing ends June 5th. And so we are going to try and announce the winner by June 4th. So please keep an eye out on all of our socials, on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, nifty marketing and you're going to see a post where we announce this giveaway and the qualifications to put in for that so be sure to watch that and qualify and you know it's going to consist of the, the typical thing like liking it following us tag a friend and all that and and if you're lucky we'll announce you as the winner on june 4th so all right breaking news so follow <laughs> nifty on all the socials and and with that devin stick around for a minute you stick around but we'll we'll sign off here live on linkedin so goodbye everybody on LinkedIn. Thanks.